Well, look like old Mitch here, Mitch Freeze. Look like he's stepping down, y'all. You know, there was a lot of infighting going on about this. So I guess he is finally going to step down as GOP leader. And looks like he'll still be there, just like Nancy Pelosi, when she stepped down for being House Speaker, but she's still there in Congress. He'll still be in the Senate. You know, he really should retire altogether. It is not hard to see this man is not in the best of health, you know, but they are conditioned, I guess, to believe they should stay in office until their last breathing day. You know, that's just somebody power hungry. So, and he's 81 years old. Mitch McConnell stepping down as Senate GOP leader, ending historic 17 year run. So, Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell announced he's stepping down as the upper chamber GOP leader later this year, ending a 17-year run that made him the longest-serving party leader in Senate history and often the most powerful Republican in Washington. McConnell who turned 82 last week, announced his decision on the Senate floor Wednesday. I always imagine a moment when I have total clarity and peace about the sunset of my work. A moment when I'm certain I have helped preserve the ideals I so strongly believe, he said, that day arrived today. An emotional remarks McConnell reflect on his 40 years in the Senate. Wow, that's a long time. Saying that when he was first elected to the chamber in 1984, he never could imagine becoming the longest serving senator to represent Kentucky in the state's history. To serve Kentucky in the Senate has been an honor of my life to lead my Republican colleagues has been the highest privilege, he said, before announcing that this would be his last term as the GOP leader. Yeah, well, if you keep freezing up, I would imagine that is hard to lead anybody. So the announcement comes as McConnell grips on the conference, has seemed to slip in recent months, and Boy, we remember those times he froze and he fell a number of times. Yeah, I, I think this is long overdue. When the bulk of McConnell's conference quickly rejected a bipartisan Senate negotiated border security agreement at Trump's urging in recent weeks, McConnell relented relented, uh, noting that the political dynamics at work had changed. And although McConnell succeeded in getting many Republican senators to support a foreign aid bill that includes funding for Ukraine days later, a chapter prompted some of the most vocal opposition yet to McConnell's continued leadership. He just don't have the fight in him that he used to have. I don't know where he's going with this. McConnell is the least popular Republican in America of either party. He is a symbol of everything that's wrong with Washington. This is what Senator Josh Hawley of Missouri said. He's a Republican, told reporters Wednesday ahead of McConnell's announcement. McConnell survived a leadership challenge in 2022 midterm elections, overcoming opposition from a group of conservatives. Well, in his floor speech, McConnell said he plans to remain in his post until the party selects a new leader who would be elected in November and take the helm in 2025. He said he plans to stay in the Senate to finish the job. 
that the people of Kentucky elected him to do, suggesting that he'll remain in the chamber until his term expires in 2026. Man, he's freezing up now. What shape is he going to be in by 2026? Father, time remains undefeated. I'm no longer the young man sitting in the back hoping colleagues would remember my name, McConnell said. It's time for the next generation of leadership. Oh, pretty much of what James Clyburn said not long ago when he stepped down from his leadership post. The leader, he said, has full confidence in his conference to choose his replacement, though he did not endorse a successor. I still have enough gas in my tank to thoroughly disappoint my critics, and I intend to do so with all the enthusiasm which they have come accustomed, he said. So, look like the reign of Mitch McConnell is coming to an end. So I'll be surprised if he runs for re-election in 2026. I think it may be the very end for him, if not sooner. So y'all tell me what you think about this new announcement from Mitch McConnell. And not that it is going to change anything for us. You could have at least said at the end of your speech, Mitch, cut the check. That's what you should have said at the end. An opportunity missed. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.